<laughs> Sorry, I was having a dream. Do you have a god dream? What is a god dream, you ask? Yes, I'm pretending that you, you asked through the video. A god dream, I suppose, is something that God has given you. Something that you are that you're passionate about for God, something that you want to do for him, something that you would, you desperately want for him to move in. There's a moment when God gives you a passion, something that is totally beyond you, something that you can't deny him in, something that stirs you up. In Colossians, in the message, it encourages us to act like we're Christians, act like we're living for Jesus, like heaven is our home. That's all about perspective. It's like it's calling us to live like we're destined for heaven. What it really comes down to is just passion and stuff that you genuinely care about. Not just because you have to do evangelism or have to worship or have to see people meeting with Jesus. But stuff that you genuinely care about. What passion has God given you? Do you think about areas where God could advance his kingdom? Do you think about how you're going to worship God in any particular way or in any particular day and how you're going to do it? Do you get excited by what God might do through you? The thing about passion like worship is that it is caught not taught you can't force yourself to be passionate about something you can't convince yourself that something is right or wrong and let your feelings deal with that passion is from god alone i think there are several things that god would love us to get a passion about the first one is just, do you have a passion for his name or for his glory david was known for having a heart after god having a passion for his name. If you look through the Bible, and again the Psalms, about how many times it says for his name's sake or for his glory, God really cares about these things and he wants us to care about these things too. Well, let's think about God's name, King, Counselor, Almighty. Does this excite you spiritually? Do you have a passion for his kingdom come? John the Baptist had a, was ridiculously excited. I mean, he used to dress weird and eat insects. He's weirdo, proper weird, but you couldn't deny his passion. He spoke with conviction and was led by the Spirit. Are we concerned about advancing this kingdom of God? I remember a story that David Petz once said, that somebody tried telling him how to do it better, somebody a young guy in their 20s. And the thing that he said was that he was very excited by this. What I was excited by was that someone cared enough to see things done differently. Besides the arrogance... That's the kind of people God wants, passionate people. God wants us to have a passion for his word. The Bible is powerful and it's like a double-edged sword that can cut to our heart and soul. Getting rid of rubbish and lies and deceit and all that kind of stuff and really showing us for who we really are. David says he wants to have God's word in his heart that he might not sin against him. That belief that God's word could stop us sinning. That's the kind of passion God wants us to have. Being excited for what he has got to say about the universe, about us, about the world. The really big thing about all of this though, and I've already said it, is that only God can give you that passion. You can't work it up. There's no kind of pump, there's no kind of primer for that. What it is is about asking God for that. A God dream could be, you want to see thousands saved. You want to see people healed. You want to see people come off the streets. You want to see the church on fire. You want to see people passionately led in worship. But only that can come from God. Ask, seek, knock. God will answer. But ask him today. Give me a passion, Lord. It's good.